Hey guys, welcome to another Joshua Live video, and today we're gonna go ahead and do some arena battle. Before that, I am going to actually grab this Charlie here. Not that I need it, but you know, good to have, I guess. Um, I I mean, I guess I could raise a char raise a Charlie. I I guess I could level up my Charlie to a certain level so that it could be usable in like con or like rare like tournaments that involve up to rare or epic creatures that have no, no level caps or something maybe i don't even know you know those kind of tournaments anyways um no not you can i get that treasure chest without clicking on neosaurus yes we can there you go 900 coins not the most you could get but uh i'll take it also ooh, early gen 2 early gen 2 this week's hybrid pursuit dino by the way even though I'm also in local too, but you know, <laughs> still good to see. I am actually for the first time ever low on Relic Gen two DNA instead of Berry Gen two or or uh, what was the other thing? Oh, Spawn Gen two. Spawn Gen two I've never run out of, uh, and I've you know like most folks, constantly running out of Berry Gen two DNA. But for the first time ever, I'm actually out of Relic Gen two DNA out of all things. And there we go, we got one fuse here. And 40, I will take that, that's nice. Let's see how many, 50, 80, 80 more. Let's see how many fuses do we have here? Three fuses, 80, maybe four, average four fuses. Get me there for five fuses actually, let's see. Five fuses, 50, 250. Yeah, no, I'm not getting this thing to level 27 anytime soon. Is it level 26 at the moment? I think so. Yeah, yeah, level 26, so it should go to level 27 uh, next uh, time around. Anyways, let's open up some incubators here. Because, oh, there's Barry Gen 2 Danny. Because I need to make space so I could get more incubators. Anyways, yeah, I all know that. Uh, Double Gallus, Quetzal, all right. Can we get some more Barry Gen 2? Barry Gen 2? Uh, Barry, no, nope. Okay, this is a big one. Give us some Barry Gen 2 here, come on, please. I said please. Okay, please doesn't work. Anyways, <laughs> let's go into the arena then. Hopefully uh, we could actually get an actual opponent other than a bot, because bots are boring. Although they're really easy to beat for incubators, but you know, that's not the point here. Anyways, um, oh, a few things I probably have to go over. Um, the first thing, the reason why I haven't been live streaming uh, and a while is because, for those of you who don't know, I shattered my laptop. <laughs> the screen completely shattered. And I live stream from my um, MacBook, uh, usually, right? And now that that happened, it's kind of screwed up for live streaming. It's really hard for me to work a live stream with that, right? So, um, what I need to do is set up live streaming on my PC, which I need to get a capture card, right? A capture card so I could use my camera, um, the DSLR, for like a webcam kind of thing. So it works that way, which I'm on the process of getting. I bought a um, capture card on, on, on Amazon. It should be here on Thursday and I'll see if I could set up, set up a stream on Thursday to see how it goes. Hopefully well, if not, well, and speaking of streams, I do have a Twitch channel. I set up a Twitch channel, so uh, hopefully I could stream on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously at the same time. If my um, internet's good enough, which it should be. It has like it's like 300 upload, so that's pretty good, I think. So yeah, um, yeah, that's just a few things we kind of have to go over of. Uh, in regards to live streaming. So I'll leave the, the Twitch channel link down below so um, you could do me a favor and follow um, the channel. It'll be great Thursday, hopefully. Depends on like when the capture card arrives. If it's like like before noon, I could probably do a stream. If it, if it arrives at like four or five o'clock, I probably will do one. I'll probably still do one. Ooh, that was not a good <laughs> opener as a test, but um, wouldn't 
guarantee it would be a uh, wouldn't guarantee everything will will go right and that's an error all right so Chico versus magna um bad news for me because for those of you who don't know after the magna hp nerf it loses to Trico. it needs to crit to be Trico, which only has a 20 percent which doesn't crit too often right so magna now loses Trico, which is pretty sad pretty sad Let's see. Let's go Dialar Kairos here. He's probably gonna put up a shield, which, and then I'll just throw a distraction strike so I just don't get hit too much by the counter. Unless for some reason they go for. Okay, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Hmm, actually, you know what? If I were the track, I probably would have went instant distract. Because, like, all you're doing going instant invincibility first is just some extra, like, distracted counter damage. This isn't too much. So if you actually go for the gamble and go for distract first, then you could get two turns worth of counter damage on instead. I don't even know. That's... <laughs> oh, well. Still, still a really small number there, but hey. You're working with margins anyways. All right, they have a Renex that's faster than mine. Dialar Kairos. That's very cool, Sash. Not cool at all. All right, what do I have in the back? Iron oh, my stun didn't land. That's beautiful. That's that's great. I love it. Oh, there goes our Dialarac. Do I seriously have to boost my dinos again? I hate boosting my dinos. Oh my goodness. I haven't boosted my dinos in a long time, in like probably like a month or so. I don't even know. Magna is probably gonna be faster than me. Oh no, it's actually not faster than me. Ooh, he got a crit, that's pretty cool. Um, doesn't matter, the Renex is still gonna come in and take us out. Okay. Unless they don't throw out Renex for some reason? Okay, there, there's a Renex, of course. Why would you not do that? <laughs> Oh, if only our dollar car stun landed. If only the stun landed. Good God, it's 75%. It's 75%, man. Unbelievable. Well, they're going to go for an instant charge here, so that's going to hurt our Trico a bit. Um, hopefully their stun doesn't land, but I'm not counting on that. <laughs> Come on, let's be fair. Uh, fair. Oh, well. I thought we could, like, trade non-stuns, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Rampage and run? Already? Okay. I mean, they still have a full HP dino out there, yeah, so it didn't really matter. Oh well. Um, let's do this. I, you know what? That was a total waste of time. It doesn't mean anything. We're gonna lose anyways. We can't, uh, can't do anything in this situation. They're probably gonna go for minimal speed up strike because they know I'm a jerk. I'm just gonna go for invincibility anyways. <laughs> oh boy. No, they went for Rampage. Well, good for you. Let's see. Actually... Uh, I mean... Unless they crit, they actually can't take me out, so... Let's do that. Okay. We need to hit through Cloak. Hit through Cloak. Come on, I missed a stun. I missed a stun. Ah, oh, damn it. Ugh. Oh. Can I be any more unlucky here? Oh well, I'm gonna instant distract an immune dino just for the lulz. <laughs> uh, at least the opponent is amused by that. At least they're amused by the instant distract on an immune dino. This person's called Delete Boost. Well, why'd you boost your dinos up so much if you, if you want to delete boost? I don't think that it works that way, right? Anyways, oh my goodness. Let me check how many boosts I have on each. I have 400, what? Do I really have 400 something health boost? 168 damage, 137 speed. Yeah, no, I am not. You know what, I could probably spend a few health boosts. Health boosts, I'm not, not that big of a deal. This guy really needs a lot of health. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get Magnus on. Let's see, what's this thing? Ugh. It's... <laughs> Even if I boosted, it's still gonna get killed by a bunch of things. 
Um, no, it's total waste. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna give Trigod some boost. Like, it costs, like, nothing. Next to nothing. Here you go, Trigod. You're welcome. Oh well. <laughs> let's, go, let's go in. The reason why I didn't want to boost Trigod, because I was thinking of replacing it with Yoraja, but, like, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna get Yoraja to level 30 end time soon now, I don't think. So, eh, whatever, I'll just put a few boosts into Trigod, anyways. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I, this whole situation is so bad. Like, there's a lot of things wrong about boosts, but like, one of them is the fact that you, it can't, you just can't use new dinos. If you, if you invest, if you invested a lot of boost into your team, it's almost impossible for you to use new dinos. Wrong game. Like, and that's, that's, that's why I'm hesitant to use boosts on stuff like Earldom or Magna or Tragod because, well, not so much Tragod, I guess. Magna and Earldom, even though I have less boost on I got them, the other two. Um, it's just always, like, they're not level 30, right? So they could, if I wanted to replace something, it would be Magna or Earldom, if they ever get changed in the future, right? Since they're not level 30 yet, because it's a bit harder to replace my level 30, you know, highly boosted dinos than those who are still not at, at, at a higher level, right? So... That's why I'm always hesitant to boost those things because I'm always thinking, oh, if I get my Dio Raja level up or if I get my Erlico Spix level up, I could replace Magna slash Erlodom. If I could get those to level 30 before the, the, the other two, Magna and Erlodom, well, I'm going to replace Magna and Erlodom with Dio Raja and Erlico Spix because they're higher level, right? Not saying Magna or Erlodom is worse. They're both great dinos, obviously. If I had them at level 30, with heav like heavily invested boost, I'd, I'd use them, but they're not. <laughs> and that's why I'm hesitant to put tap boots into them, because if I take them off the team, then the thousands of bucks I invested into them <laughs> with boost, gone. Totally no use for me. <laughs> and why does this person have level 2810 Clagrius? What the heck? What the heck? What am I looking at? All right, let's do that. Is it boosted? Damn, it's boosted. It's boosted too. Am I finding an AI and I didn't notice and I subconsciously <laughs> clicked the button? Who would have a? I mean, mm, that does sound like a human move, though. Would I would think AIs probably would have used Null Impact instead, since Null Impact does less damage than Armor Piercing Strike. I don't even know. Stay God. Let's see the level. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I'll have to rewatch the tapes to see if this was an AI or not. Anyways, ah, uh, that goes for defense. Let's just go for the safer option. Throw up a long invincibility. Tanny Calagrus. Wow. When was the last time I actually saw a player use Tanny Calagrus in, in the arena? Oh, short defense. Oh, you know what? It really seems like. I'm fighting a player. I really don't see AIs going for short defense. Turn one with Stegod. Even though it's obviously the better choice here, you know. I just think uh, ARs are kind of dumb in this game. <laughs> no offense to the folks who have programmed them. You know, it's, I know, it's really difficult. It's not, it's not your fault. <laughs> okay. Probably gonna slow me again here. I was going for Rampage. Well, interesting. Well, Thanks for the uh, speed priority then, I guess. Not that it really matters. I can't really do much with him. I'm not taking it out with that little bit of speed priority over there. Uh, let's see. But I can take it out if the stun lands. It depends if I want track or You know what? I have to go for the stun. I have to risk the stun chance here. Because if I go security and it hits me again, like... Trigod's just going to be set up material for whatever dino comes in next. So that's why I didn't use Spirit. And also, um, I screwed up my calculations. <laughs> so that was totally irrelevant. <laughs> Let's just keep on. 
But I didn't get it. Oh, well. My Stragos is going to be set up material. You know what? Hindsight 2020, I, sh I should have just made Stagod set up material for my um, Earl Diamond or Dalar Cars instead. Which I'm going to... Wait, does my Spirit Strike kill it? Oh, it doesn't. Thank goodness. Alright, we're going to make Stagod set up material f a material for Dalar Cars and let Trigod die here. Unless it doesn't kill me. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, barely. We barely survived that one. <laughs> or, not survive. We literally did not survive. We barely... Did not die at that one, I guess, <laughs> is the better phrasing. Let's go for Spirit Shank. I'm, I'm feeling a bit uh, risky today. <laughs> Going for Spirit Shank instead of distracting. Our Dentist Maxima! Yay! Our um, setup literally. Uh, never mind, I was about to say literally did nothing because it's immune, I can't stun it. But on the other hand, I can just rampage and run into the, into the uh, Dracos. Okay, no, no, this is a bot. No way someone has a level 28 Spinosaurus. That Stagot play was pretty good, though. You'd have to admit, that Stagot play was... was like a human's play. Okay, yeah, it's a bot. Hmm. A player would do that. A player would make those moves. You know what? I'm sorry, developers, or whoever programs AIs. Um, that was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good. Except for the last part, when... With the unnecessary unnecessary swap into Spino Gen 1, which, obviously, a wreckage would have killed it. But, uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, and the random rant about, uh, stab boost not letting me use Erlico Specs slash Dioraj. Like, right now, if stab boosts weren't a thing, Erlico Spix would be on my team. Diorado would probably be on my team. But, since stat boosts are a thing... Oh, Stega Diaz would be on my team, too, also. But, since, uh, since stat boosts are a thing... Can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. You know what? Second thought on second thought, Stega Diaz probably won't be on my team. Like, I could have them, like, on my team periodically, you know, just trying out some different team setups and stuff, just having fun with these dinos, but I can't have fun with them anymore because um, I can't just, you know, spend a few thousand bucks to put into Stegodius because I I really do like the new buffed Stegodius. It's re it should be really fun, but I just can't use it <laughs> because I, I'm not going to invest boost into something that's not going to be on my team. Um, on my main team for many reasons. Also, I would love to use our liquid picks. Can't put it on my team. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. I'm gonna stop <laughs> this weird stat boost rants. Um, you know, but that was the main theme of the video, right? Although it came out sporadically, I guess. Uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like if you did, uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and also, um, follow me on Twitch. I'll be streaming, um, or, or I'll uh, be attempting to stream on Thursday, um, Pacific Time, um, doing some viewer battles, hopefully, if all goes well. And, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.